China's latest blockbuster, Upstream, is casting a rare and harsh light on the country's biggest economic pain points, an uncertain job market, downward mobility, and the hard scrabble life of millions who are working gig jobs. The film hit home with moviegoers in Beijing. Some cried while watching it. In fact, this film very much reflects what's happening at the moment, including the general atmosphere and the employment situation. It resonates a lot. I think the director made the film really realistic. Directed by and starring Zhu Cheng, the film showcases the low-paid scooter drivers working for China's on-demand food platforms, led by Mei Tuan. It shows them racing to avoid late delivery penalties and keep up with robotic orders from an app piped through their mobile phones. The movie lands at a time when uncertainty in a deflationary economy and real-life pressures on delivery drivers have both been trending concerns. And stands apart from the typical genres of Chinese blockbusters over the years, usually war films, historical dramas or romances. Some praised Upstream for addressing a social issue not often highlighted by recent films, subject to censorship. Others were unimpressed by the happy ending, with the protagonist successfully making enough deliveries to cover overdue mortgage payments. In China, at least 10 million delivery drivers work for Meituan and its largest rival, Alibaba-owned Elema. Drivers have complained of long hours and payment per delivery that is often less than the equivalent of one dollar. This 37-year-old food delivery driver in Shanghai told Reuters he would leave the industry if there were an alternative. It's not an industry for a normal person. Imagine at peak hour in the middle of the day. Many orders are made. There is no way other than to race against time. Sometimes at the last minute or two minutes before the order deadline goes over time, you are racing with your life. It is not easy. In the movie Upstream, competition between the drivers and platforms is depicted as unrelenting. It shows drivers not having time for breaks and sometimes taking dangerous shortcuts in a 14-hour workday for incentives. Ashley Duda Renock has written books on Chinese business and consumer trends. It is a rather realistic depiction of um, the psyche of many Chinese uh, Chinese people today. Uh, previously, if we remember five years ago, ten years ago, what um, set China very strongly apart was this very positive mindset of the consumer, of an average business person, uh, because there was this strong underlying belief that tomorrow is going to be better than today. The economy is going to be better. Opportunities are going to be better. Technology is going to, you know, drive us forward. I'm going to be, and my skills and my future is going to be better. Uh, today, that belief is, um, is not there. A Meituan spokesman said the company was not involved in the movie and offered no comment on its depiction of the industry when asked by Reuters. A film subsidiary of Alibaba is listed among the 17 production companies behind Upstream. The company did not immediately comment.